In a stunning move, Canada has expelled six top Indian diplomats. Serious and shocking allegations revealed by the RCMP during a rare news conference on Thanksgiving Monday, warning the public of safety threats linked to Indian government officials. India quickly retaliated, ordering six Canadian diplomats to leave that country within a week. The expulsions represent a deepening deterioration of diplomatic relations between the two countries. CTV's Colton Prail starts us off. Canada has told six Indian officials to leave the country, claiming they're connected to a targeted campaign of violence and intimidation against Canadian citizens. It is obvious that the government of India made a fundamental error in thinking that they could engage in supporting criminal activity. In a rare public announcement, the RCMP says it has evidence tying Indian officials in Canada to multiple homicides, extortions and the use of gangs to target members of the South Asian community. But neither the RCMP nor the government would say how many Canadian deaths they're investigating. Investigations have revealed that Indian diplomats and consular officials based in Canada leveraged their official position to engage in clandestine activities. It's the latest increase in tensions between the two countries that have been escalating since Prime Minister Justin Trudeau accused the Indian government of being involved in the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijjar, a prominent Sikh independence activist who was shot outside a B.C. Gurdwara in June last year. Today, Global Affairs saying the six expelled Indian officials are persons of interest in the Niger case. We're not seeking diplomatic confrontation with India, but we will not sit quietly as agents of any country are linked to efforts to threaten, harass or even kill Canadians, period. RCMP say they've charged eight people in relation to murder investigations, 22 others in extortion cases, and in the last year have had to warn more than a dozen people in Canada connected to the pro-Khalistan movement about credible threats to their life. India has long opposed the pro-Khalistan movement, which seeks to create a separate homeland for six. Police also say their investigation revealed foreign interference in Canada's democracy, something sick Canadians have warned about for years. The extent of Indian interference in Canada is just scary, and this uh, coming out, it's got to be a step towards accountability. So this can't be the end of the road. The RCMP presented evidence to India this week and asked them to lift some officials' diplomatic immunity. But India declined, instead withdrawing its top representative in Canada and other diplomats. In a statement, India rejected the allegations, accusing Canada of providing no evidence and smearing India for political gains. Meanwhile, Canada's top diplomatic official in India and five others were expelled by New Delhi and asked to leave by Saturday. This has unfolded in a way that is really uh, unique and, and troubling and clearly something that puts Canada and India at an all-time low. The Conservatives are calling for a full criminal prosecution of anyone involved. The NDP say Canada needs to do more, like sanctioning India, Meanwhile, Melanie Jolie says everything is on the table. Heather.